All right, now as uh, as Tyler suggested, we need to start at this period. Okay, so what I want you to do is, do you have your book there? Do you have your book there? We're going to write something down for a second. Okay. Cos x. What is the period? And you can see it on here if you're going to read it. What's the period of motion? How how long does it take to go through one cycle up and then down, or down and then up? I should say. How many seconds? Just regular cos x. How long does it take? Okay, so if we were talking in degrees, I'd say 360 degrees. Um, I'm not talking in angles here. I'm trying to make this a time axis, right? So in radians, I'd say that'd be 2 pi seconds, right? Now, I don't want it to be 2 pi seconds, so we want to adjust this period. And we're gonna, we can do it in a couple of ways, right? So I'm going to give a couple of suggestions. Um, we just saw putting a number out the front here, right? That changed it vertically. That was good. But I want to change things horizontally. That's the period, right? So if, for example, I chucked a 2 out the front there, cos 2x, don't, don't put it in just yet. What do you predict would happen? What would be the period, the time, that it takes to go through one cycle? What do you see, Mo? Increase uh, double. Is it going to double? Is it going to half? Which one? <laughs> Well, we have this graph sitting in front of us that's magically, um, magically dynamic. Go ahead, put the two in there. Oh, it's gone faster, isn't it? So the period is halved, okay? Um, which means from two pi seconds, it's going to be now pi seconds. That's, um, that's a wild ride, okay? So I, <laughs> I don't like roller coasters regularly. I definitely would not like this Ferris wheel, okay? So that's going faster. We don't want it to go faster, do we? We want it to go... Slower. So, how should I adjust? What do you think it does? Okay, if I divide it by two, so x on two, this would this would go slower, right? It wasn't um, halving the time; it would double the time. So, what would the time be for this? Wouldn't you put um, cos over forty-five since the period's already two? Ah. Okay. All right. So. You're, you're a couple of steps ahead, Will. We'll come to your point in a second. I don't think, we should sort this out first, right? We've um, already realized that if we want to slow down the motion rather than make it faster, then we should divide rather than multiply. So I'm going to have four pi seconds here. Do you agree? That's better. What's four times pi? It's like 12, 13-ish, right? So that's an improvement. I don't want four pi seconds. I want 90 seconds. And also, please notice, there's no pies in this, right? How do I get rid of the pie? That pie is gross. It's annoying. How do I get rid of it? Why don't you have a think for a second? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit pause. You can see how we can adjust the period here. You've seen how we made it faster. You saw how we made it slower. I'm going to give you a minute or two to look with the person next to you. And you're welcome to play. You've got the technology in front of you. Before Mrs. Lee and I show you the answer, do you have enough knowledge? And like I said, have a fiddle to try and work out how we should adjust to get the right period that we're actually after. Have a think. Some people are getting there, some people are still struggling along, so let me try and help you out, okay? Can I draw your attention back to here for a second? In fact, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Eyes down here, so, oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, HSC exam, calculators, all, the, all that fun stuff, okay? Uh, let's have a look down here, right? Do you remember when we started with this original regular cosine function, okay? And then we said, oh, what if I slap a 2 at the front here? What effect did that have on our period? Yeah, we divided by 2. Did you see that, right? So we divided by 2, 2 pi became pi. So far, so good. I don't actually want to divide by 2, though. Um, for starters, I don't want the pi to be there. The pi is in there, all of the ones that I've just done, right? So if I want to divide by pi instead of by 2, I shouldn't write cos 2x. I should write cos pi x, right? That's going to mean when you take the period from 2 pi, which is where you start, that's your starting point, I should divide by pi. So what's the period going to be for this guy? This is going to be, you started at 2 pi seconds, you divided by pi, 2 pi on pi, that's just 2 seconds, right? 2 seconds. Now this is good, this is progress, right? I've got all that gross pi radian stuff out of the way, but I need to do one more thing, right? Because this is still way too fast. We already know how to slow things down. How do I get from 2 seconds to 90 seconds? What do I do? 
I should divide by 45. Okay, we saw that division here slows things down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that pi x, which I want. I want the pi there, right? And then I'm going to divide by 45, okay? Now, if you've got Desmos there, what I want you to do is two things. Number one, go ahead and change this uh, x in here. Sorry, I should get this out of the way for you. Change that x to be pi x on 45. Go ahead and put that in. Fun fact, if you just type in the letters P and I, you'll get, you'll get that, which is kind of handy. It's like, ooh, thanks. Thanks for that, Desmos. Divide by 45. Okay, does this look good? What do you think? You can check if it's bang on, by the way. Here's a little, um, here's a little handy secret for you. Go up to the wrench icon over here into the settings, and you can change your scale to be whatever you want. The thing that I suggest is, on the horizontal axis, which is here, there's x-axis right there, um, you can change the step. That's how often it marks in a line. Um, we're wanting to get 90 seconds, so I'm going to put that as the step being 30, 3, 0. And you can see, have a look. 30, 60, 90, and bang on. That's where the top of my motion is, which is where I started. So one full cycle. So far, so good? Okay. Now, we just have one last thing. One last thing. When you get onto a Ferris wheel, right, at time zero, when you board, do you board the Ferris wheel at the top of the Ferris wheel? No. <laughs> if you're like mad and parachuting down, possibly, but usually not, right? So I actually want this to start down the bottom. How do I take the top and put it down the bottom? I make it negative. What do I make negative? I kind of take the whole thing and I make it negative, right? So at the front of 35, go, go over there and slap a minus sign in there. Okay. Um, how's this look? What do you reckon? Are you happy with that? I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. This looks real good. Yeah, you start down at at time zero, how high are you above the ground? Two. You're at two, right? Because that's where the loading point is. Then you get on, it goes around, and after 90 seconds, you're back to the start if you need to get off and so on. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. So well done. You've just created the model. I know that took a lot of thought, but that's why we use technology to help us. Can I get a show of hands? Who has already gotten onto Canvas and downloaded the Fitzpatrick exercise? It's 12.4 that I think Ms. Lisa scanned in. Has anyone got it? Uh Okay, if you haven't done it, do it now, because this is question one. You just created the model for question one, and I'm going to walk you through the rest of the questions. So, all right, so what you should see now, I think I've got a screenshot here somewhere. Is this what you can see? This should be question one, except the scan should look better than this, okay? All right, so what I want you to do is, with this, I think, especially because you've got Desmos also in front of you, the first question says sketch. Now, you pretty much have that graph in front of you, but there's one difference. You might notice, read it with me. It says, sketch the graph of h of t. Let me just highlight that for a second. What does that mean? h of t. What is that? That's, that's height. That's the function. And the thing you're inputting, the variable, is t for time, right? So that's why we have an h axis and a time axis. I should just make that look a little more... <laughs> like axes. All right, it says sketch that for a three minute period. So when we put this into Desmos, we put no restrictions on it. It just kind of went, yeah, so three minutes is 180 seconds. So you're going to have to go from zero, the graph that you can see right there, you want to graph it from zero all the way over. 90 seconds gets you to one cycle, and then 180 will get you to two full cycles, okay? So go ahead and do that. Have a go at A, and then um, I'll come around and have a check and see how you're going. B and C, honestly, you can do on your own as well, but I will do them on the board once you've had a go through A on your own, okay?